<laughs> That's right. And since Fire is actually catching lag today and not really doing much of the casting, I think that's what's to blame for less mirrors. Yeah, indeed. Oh. Some PvP, nothing's better than this. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and Syntax, are you ready to go on this one, man? Yeah, sure. Awesome, awesome. And yes, awesome, awesome. CBT, this will be super, super epic. Nogram showed a super epic game against <coughs> the Protoss before, so I guess... That's right, and let, let's see, these stats are up, guys. Um, now, uh, Fire Silver will be trying to fix his issues with his internet and his bandwidth to try to uh, try to get into the grand, good rounds, but here we go. We're getting into it right now. Bland intro time. Woohoo! All right, all right, let's get this going. Let's get it rolling. We've got another freaking game for you, melting your eyeballs out of your skull. As we do move forward in the ta today's EU Craft Cup Lite number 61. That's right, that's right. Nagrim spawning down here at the bottom of Test Bug in the 6 o'clock position as the green Zerg. And over here, we've got some pings going on. Yes, we understand. Nuclear Man has landed. He has spawned as the blue Terran over here in the 3 o'clock position. And as I said before, this is Test Bug. And uh, we're going to go ahead and getting right into it here. What do you think so far, Syntax? Why don't you take the cam for a minute? Yeah, sure. Well, I'm curious to see what they both are planning for the matchup. So, I guess Nuclear Man will take down. Yes, he will wall off the ramp with his supply depot. And nothing's going on so far, so we could speculate doing some theory crafting. But I guess no need for this there. Um, but the close, uh, the spawn precision as well, I guess it's doesn't matter where they spawn because um, the map is built like a triangle uh, something like this so the move, link, move paths are the same every time so let's go into the map there are plenty of destructible rocks right there um, if you kill them the, you get the Selnaga watchtower free so and there are paths to the to the natural always different the the green and the gray one is, doesn't have a ramp um, same as here but then we can go up into the main of the players and there we see Nogrim, uh, Nuclear Man excuse me is going for the early guest and the barracks so I suppose there won't be a 2 rex aggression right there and Nogrim's going for the hatch first so we got a little bit of early expand coming down from Nogrim. Now getting that spawning pool down as well. And, uh, you know, just, just to go a little bit further, what you're saying about the maps, yes, the Zelnog Watchtowers uh, do have those rocks uh, shrouding them, as well as the Zelnog Watchtower in the middle is clear of rocks, so you can take that effectively. Uh, that Nogrim doing a little bit of a gas deal, uh, trying to be a little bit of a pest there, as uh, as Zerg players very well should be. Um, now looking at it, we do have the high yields in the right outside of everybody's natural expansion, but these high yields are are blocked by rocks. Now you can place a hatchery down or a uh, or a command center down right outside these rocks. But the thing is, is you can't harvest many minerals with those rocks being there. So it makes it very uh, very pointless to lay down that lazy expand. <clears throat> but we are seeing uh, seeing now that the factory is coming down. We could see a one 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 coming down from Nuclear Man as he has not actually finished off that wall, which is very interesting. Yeah, and he's also getting his rea the reactor on the barracks, so. Very well, we very well could see a switch there for the, with the barracks and the facility there to go for some blue flamers or, well, I'm I'm interested to see that nuclear man already walling off the the natural so he, and he's saving up minerals so I guess he will go for an early expansion right there. There it is. Yeah. Boom, bang, zoom, straight to the moon. There's the early expand. The factory will land down on uh, where this barracks is currently. Now getting out those Hellions. They won't be blue flamers, but they will be out and in heavy uh, heavy order here. Um, now, Hellions are still good against light units, even if they are not blue flame, um, because they do melt down Zerglings like no other mother. Um, 
Now, this Zergling will go ahead and scout, and see Nuclear Man's got that expansion. It was semi-counter-scouted, but it was still able to get in there and check it out. Now, Nogrim uh, may, uh, you know, may be able to go for that earlier uh, earlier third, uh, but it'll be interesting if he decides to. Uh, you know, last game we saw by Nogrim, he went for, what was it, six bases in under 20 minutes? Yeah, six, well, yeah, six bases under 20 minutes, but... I think it's it's harder to go for a super early third against the Terran player due to the fact that the Terrans can apply high pressure against you, especially with Hellions, they are very fast and mobile, so they can kill quite a few drones there and just leave leave your base um, and don't get damaged too much. So and there Ooh. we go, the, the yeah the Hellions already in the mineral line of the um, Zerg player here. Killing off a few pro, um, drones, not too many, six right now, and I oh, guess they will follow. Look at this, oh. dude! They are blocking that spine crawler from landing down in the ground, effectively making it not able to go, as these two queens are hanging out on the ramp. I love that positioning. Able to keep those queens there so those Hellions can't just blast right through the ramp, go up to the main uh, mineral line and do some damage. Nagrim now transferring some uh, some drones out, moving those queens off the line. These, uh, these Hellions continuing to try to lay down some punishment. Uh, maybe another spine crawler is in order from Nogrim. He does have these Zerglings out, and they are Speedlings. And without these being Blue Flamers, they won't get one-shotted, but they will uh, They will be able to take, uh, you know, they won't be able to take too much heat, um, and they will need to get out of that kitchen, so to say, as uh, as it looks like these Hellions will go forward. Very nice discipline by uh, by Nogrim to not go in with those uh, Zerglings right away, because, you know, you don't really want to go in with, uh, with a bunch of Zerglings even if you uh, feel like you can get the surround against the uh, Hellions. It's a very, uh, it's very not, you know, it's, it's a very bad idea to go ahead and do. But Nuclear Man now throwing down a bunker, feeling a little bit uh, insecure here. Uh, also getting down that reactor core um, on top of this factory with the tech lab on the other factory, and it looks like an armory. So Nuclear Man may be going for some awesome heavy metal as well. Yeah, same as the game before. Heavy, heavy mech play will show up, as it seems right now. And Norgrim's placing down the bailing nest, so he. May goes for the the two base bailing push, but I'm not sh too sure about this. And it could be effective due to the fact that there are no siege tanks. Um, Nuclear man now researching the the blue flamers upgrade, so those hellions will be very very dangerous in the end against circlings or light units in to be specific. And I like the placement of Norgrim, he's just walling off his natural a bit with uh, the evolution chamber and the roach nice. uh, warren. Yeah, this is awesome building placement there. And with the roaches he will be able to take down those aliens very easily. Um, but as I've said, it's hard to take a third for Norgrim um, because of the mobility of the um, aliens and they are already scouting every single base, um, trying to see what's going on. Oh, and they may be get catched by those... Oh uh, man, things. they're going to yeah. get surrounded. Very nice play here from Nogrim, taking that advantage because you know what? They're not blue flame yet, so he was able to go in and get that surround. Very, very nice job. couple of bunkers now going down by Nuclear Man. Nuclear Man also pumping out that Thor, getting a third factory down, going very Thor heavy as, uh, as we are seeing those uh, Hellions continue to be pumped out. No bio uh, besides a few Marines are out right now from Nuclear Man, taking look at that economy real fast the economic situation here as the nuclear man is sitting at 44 scvs compared to the uh 47 drones that are out by nagram and uh nagram also going for his third yeah indeed and he definitely needs it you'll never ever want to be on the same amount of bases than the than your opponent is um if it's not zerg blue flamers or not yeah well blue flamers are scouting around the map and Nuclear Man will scout the third, so Very he nice cannot scout. just. Yeah, it's awesome to scout. Um, he's and but he showed the blue flame and now loses the Hellion, but the scouting intel was worth it, I guess. And it looks like uh, some salvage going down on some of Nuclear Man's uh, on nu some Nuclear Man's bunkers. Also laying down those uh, laying down those supply depots. Maybe doing a little bit of a push here. Going to be taking out these destructible rocks that are closest to him. 
as well as the destructible rocks been taken out here from Nagrim. He will be able to lay down on that Zelnaga watch tower. Also keeping the Zelnaga in mind in the middle. Uh, very nice map awareness from Nagrim. Taking a look at it now, we see Nagrim going with the, uh, sending out the Zerglings on the closest expansion areas for Nuclear Man. So uh, with, these close ex or with these expansions being a watchful eye on them, there won't be any expansions going down by Nuclear Man that aren't, uh, aren't or haven't been known by Nagrim. Yeah, indeed, this is super, super important for Zerg, because you don't want to just give free command centers for the Terran player, and talking about command centers, Nuclear Man is getting his third command center right now, it's on construction, and meanwhile, um, Nogrim seems is going for drop and overload speed, so we Ooh. may see some roach drops right there. Um, and in addition to this, he's go getting the energy upgrade for his infestors, and I don't know if this is so effective against Mech, maybe with the Nora Parasite, but Hellions are in the third and roasting so many drones. So Ooh. many drones. And look at that burrow oh, go boom. down in great reaction by Nuclear Man, throwing down that, uh, throwing down that scan. He was able to, he, you know, he killed a mule by laying down that scan. As Andrea says, every time you use a scan, it kills a mule. Um, but, uh, you know, Nuclear Man was able to do some damage there, taking out some of those drones. But look at this. Northern part of the map, northernmost expansion. Nogrim laying down a base there, making sure to take the advantageous position. Get that economy up, rocking and rolling. And here comes some drops, man. Just like you said before, the drop has been finished, and it looks like these overlords are moving out with haste. We're all full of roaches. Yes, there are roaches in every single one of these. Oh boy, it looks like uh, Nuclear Man feeling pretty safe is going to go ahead and move up, taking uh, taking down the rocks on this high yield. Um, possibly, oh, it looks like he's going for that expansion, man. That is an in-your-face Nogrim expansion. Well, as Terran player, you can do this. It's no command center, so I guess it's it will be at planetary, and with siege tanks, he can defend it. So, And you should aim for going to your opponent as Terran, so I guess he's doing it right and he can't su oh, but he's going for the orbital, quite risky there, but it's giving more mules and, um, yeah, scans, but meanwhile there is a drop, the drop is going on for Norgrim, he's taking off some Hellions and um, SUVs, but no production facilities, and now he's getting, losing all of his roaches yeah. there, but they got burrow, so if um, Nuclear Man wants to push and doesn't have detection or scans ready, he could be in a bit of a trouble right there. And now it looks like uh, Nuclear Man lost quite a bit of SCVs there. Um, you know what, actually, let's take a look at that. Uh, it looks like both these players have evened out how many SCVs they have effectively uh, destroyed, as it looks like that turret will be uh, repaired there. These ro two roaches will be taken out, but these three burrowed roaches are just chilling in that base. They can move underground, as you can see. There are spines on them, uh, hinting towards that upgrade of the uh, tunneling grooves. Um, now, Nuclear Man uh, getting this high yield. Let's take a look at that economy real fast. Nuclear Man still down on on his economy, but not out. He is uh, evening it up with that high yield, even though there are the four bases that are out right now for Nogrim. Nogrim doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of movements here with his uh, infestors and his roaches, and getting those uh, drones over and transferred to his new base, trying to start to uh, harvest or yield some fruit from uh, from that work there. As he goes in with another drop of uh, of you know twelve Phoenix. roaches. Well, it was roaches. Yep, I thought it was. Nope, okay. they're all, uh, they're all, there's a one drop, uh, one overlord filled with ro er, with uh, banelings, and that one is uh, actually moving off. Yeah, the, the oh! baneling drop already happened. The baneling drop, uh, watch the natural of I Norgan. see. Yeah, he was dropping banelings there as well, so he's crippling the economy quite um, badly for the Terran, um, and if he doesn't push what he's doing right now, could be huge for a Norgrim. He's in a good position now. If he's stopping this push, and it seems like he's doing, he's coming from every single direction and killing off Thor after Thor. Um, so he's in a good position right there. Huge and flank. Due to, yeah, huge flank. And due to two Thor's getting evacuated there, but due to the fact that this isn't a planetary, it's hard. There's no defend. defense. There's uh, there's yeah. absolutely no defense here. I mean these roaches. There's only uh, there's only a handful, man, and they're still here doing damage, taking out Thor after Thor. Hellions now here in reaction. We'll be able to deal with that. But let's take a look at that SCV count, as there are only 29 freaking SCVs out for Nuclear Man. These roaches.